And also, if we look in here, I have it redirecting to emailthanks.html. All right, so now if we go to my web browser and we type in, um, it's like, what do we name this page? Form underscore test. So we're gonna write form underscore test.html and hit enter. All right, so here's our form. All right, so first name, Jason, email address, Jason at real dash URL, I won't put anything because you don't need to. And then comments, I'm going to write Jason. Now, if we look, see, there's nothing right here. There's no submit button. All right, so that's what we have to do. So, oh, cancel. So I have to put a submit button. So we'll just hit after this thing right here, turn, return. And then right here, it's just this little thing. We're going to write button, submit, uh, hit enter. And you don't want a label tag or anything. All right, so now we save this. We put it up again. All right, now we can reload this page. And here's our submit button. I have to redo everything, but that's not a big deal. Uh, uh, Jason at real dash tutorials.com URL, I won't put anything, but you can, and um, if we do like HTTP, it'll say see invalid format, so you have to put a re uh, good valid format. Uh, valid, I'll just write Jason, submit, and then it says thank you for contacting Jason. We'll try to get back. And now, if we go to my email and get my mail. Um, now we go here and you can see, see name, Jason, email, comments. Now, one thing when I was doing this, I kept finding, no one showed me how to put it so I could have more. Let's say I already made my form and I have more than one thing. Um, and I have different things. So what you want to do is if we select that thing, then you want to go into code and you want to see right here. Now, if we not right here where it says ID, but we go to label and see it's called comments. Um... One second, where is this ID? Uh, not the first ID where it says span ID spray text area one, but on this line, um, you right here where it says comments, um, that's what we need. So let's say we go back to design and um, we want to add something that's not already on the PHP form. Let's say we want to add um, another radio button and let's say we want it to be called um, um, a premium. Um, and now we're going to do tab and we'll and we'll write it premium member. Um, wrap the label tag and I hit OK. And now if we click on here, oh wait, where do we click it? I think it's right here. Um, no, there's something checked, unchecked. Oh, I did the wrong thing, I think. Yeah, I needed to check Spark group, so. Wait, I'm just in Command C. So I want your radio button. We want a uh, checkbox group. Checkbox one. Um, that's the name. We'll name it Pre. Actually, you know what? No, sorry. Not that. <sighs> checkbox right here. Um, we want, um, I'm going to name this premium, and this is for the premium, um, members, like a question of if you are premium member, um, all right, are you a, and then, oh, oops that wrap with legal tag and this is called premium that's the key thing we have to remember that all right so um now we just have to remember that it's called premium all right so we can save this now what we want to do is right here i want to hit return now money sign and you want to write premium because that's the name that we put there for the id now we want to write equals um money sign underscore oh, oops post 
And then you're going to want to write um, that. Oh, wait. Oops. And then you're going to want to write... You know what? Actually, let's not do that. An easier way is delete that. Just copy this. Paste it here. Oh, wait. We don't want that extra space. And then where it says URL, change that to premium. And right here where it says URL2. Oh, wait. No one is praying me um and then also one more thing right here hit return this is what it's gonna look in the email so pray me it's like pray me um then you're gonna write that and then you're gonna go money sign premium see it has to look the same down here up here and up there then hit enter then space um that br that all right and then um actually well should i save it yeah all right i'll save that and then form test all right so here and then you have that and then when in my form when it, they will let you get It'll say change your IP, uh, change your web your thing, but right here where it says form completed, that's going to be the subject of your email. Right here is where you get your email, and then right here is after it's done where you want it to go. All right. So and if you go to design, there's nothing. All right. So now we want to uh, form test update it. I mean, put it up there. Connected and then we the one that says contact form blah 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 we want to update that one right there all right and now if we go to my internet browser and we go to um form, or form underscore test we have premium numbers so we can write Jason Jason yeah I spelled it right at real dash tutorial dot com this one, I'll, I guess I can put my um, URL, um, dash tutorials.com, uh, Jason, it is me. Are you a premium member? Let's say I check, I check yes and hit submit. It goes to there, and I could do this. Now, if we go to my email, check it, we'll see it. Oh, I spelled my email wrong. Well, that's not that big of a deal. But see, premium member on URL. I spelled that wrong too. Well, I guess I spelled a lot of things wrong. Um. Anyway, that's what you get. Um. Your thing will only have the first three for URL name comments. Um. And um. I'm not gonna give you this thing. I'm guessing you guys can do that yourselves. All right.